Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I generate and automate free images using AI and ChatGPT. So you'll learn how I automate free images with AI using ChatGPT, how I generate thousands of images for any type of content. I'm going to share my free AI tools, prompts and templates based on what's working for me. This is something that a lot of people have been asking me about recently, because even for my YouTube channel, I create loads of crazy thumbnails, as you can see. And they're a lot of fun to make. They're very easy to automate. I'm going to share with you my whole process today. And the thing is, if you're an SEO, it doesn't matter whether you're creating blogs, doesn't matter whether you're creating SEO content or even just YouTube content. Overall, better images leads to higher click through rates and engagement, which means more interaction and better rankings. And overall, that means more money for you. How do I know that? Because this website that made enough money to buy a Rolex had all the images generated with AI. And the same for my YouTube channel, right? A lot of the images from my top performing videos on YouTube have been generated with AI, as you can see. And so I'm going to share with you the whole process today. I'm going to actually create a thumbnail for my YouTube channel as well and film it. So what I'm going to actually do today is use my video thumbnail tool right here that you can see. This is a custom GPT that I've made personally to help me generate thumbnails really quickly because I create so many of them. And you can use this for SEO images and blog content as well. If you don't have access to ChatGPT 4+, that's okay. I'll actually share with you the free prompt, as you can see right here, if you want to create content in the same way that I do. All right. So you can use this on free tools and I'll show you how in a second, or you can just use the custom GPT that I'm going to share with you right now. So let's get into it. So I've just created a video on chat GPT free backlinks, and I need to create a YouTube thumbnail for that. And this is the same process that you would use for featured images with SEO blog content, etc. And the first thing that I need to do is really come up with a concept for it. Right. So I need to think, okay, creatively, how can I turn all this text right here and the video that I've just created into a fun and interesting YouTube thumbnail that people are very likely to click on? And the more likely people are to click on it, the better it's going to perform, right? And by the way, you might be wondering as well, does this actually work? So you can see, for example, this video right here, overall, it got nearly a 7% click through rate. The average on YouTube is between 2 and 10%. So this video right here, it got 6.8% click through rate, which is actually typically on the high end of the average click through rate on YouTube. And this was generated in just a few minutes using ChatGPT. I didn't have to hire a fancy thumbnail designer. I didn't have to pay for anything, etc. So what I'm going to say is this is just a rough draft is create a crazy thumbnail for a backlink monster, building backlinks to rank websites, make it crazy and interesting and attention grabbing. Now, the main thing is with images is that I want to attract attention, right? So the more colorful and crazy and interesting my images look, the more people are likely to engage with them, which leads to better rankings and more time on the content. So for example, we've got this image generated back right here. Now, one thing I don't like obviously is all these icons at the bottom. So I need to change that. You can also see that what I often don't like to do on my videos is I don't like to have any text from AI because AI often messes up the text, right? So this is using Dali 3 and Dali 3 right now, if it includes text inside its content, a lot of it is just mumbo jumbo. It doesn't make any sense, which is going to confuse the person looking at it. So I'm going to come up with a new concept right here. And um, what you'll notice is that you have to go back and forth with chat GPT a little bit just to get the output that you want. So I could settle for that. I could just crop this and just use this section right here as a thumbnail. But for me, I want to make the best possible thumbnail and image that I can. And that's why I'm going to go back and forth and wrestle with chat GPT a little bit. But the good news is if you were getting this from a designer, well, you'd have to think about briefing them. Then they come back to you with an idea. Then you don't like it and you have some tweaks. And then before you know it, it's taken about two weeks to just get one image. Whereas you can do this in one day and move really fast. So I'm going to go back and forth with ChatGPT now. And then I'll show you the conversation afterwards and how to get the best outputs. The other thing that I would say is uh, it's so important to create good images now because search generative experience is coming along. It will change SEO. And one of the biggest changes is that the thumbnail for your blog posts on Google's rankings are going to be what impacts your click through rate, right? So if your image is pretty poor here, well, no one's going to see it. No one's going to pay attention to it and therefore no one's going to click it. So it's really important to get this process right and master it for both your website. And if you're using YouTube, it helps as well. So what I actually did was start again from scratch. And what you can see here is that the only prompt I've used is create a crazy AI robot controlling his massive army and empire of link building robots. So you can see how basically what I've done is I've taken the concept from this script right here for the YouTube video and turned it into an image. So you can see, for example, this is something related to Google. You've got 
a robot controlling its empire of link building minions and then it's up to you like you could continue going back and forth with chat gpt or you could just use that as an image for your website but either way you can generate images and automate them as long as you have the concept from step one here's another example of an image that I created and then what I would do is just edit the image so for example this I could put a chat GPT logo over the top or something else that's interesting and inside Canva I can easily edit the image and just spruce it up a little bit so that it's more interesting right and now we have our AI generated image we have the title for the YouTube thumbnail and we can test it out now another method as well is you can actually generate images that you could insert inside another image what do I mean by that that sounds crazy so basically, I can say to ChatGPT, give me a crazy backlink related website chart but with a Google search bar, make the background transparent so that I can paste it into my YouTube thumbnail. So for example, if you look at this thumbnail right here, what I've actually done is created the thumbnail background myself. So all this was created without AI. And then for this particular image, I generated an image using ChatGPT, made the background transparent, and then pasted this Rolex looking gangster robot into the thumbnail now what you also notice for example with a lot of the images that i've created previously is uh, to grab attention which you need to do both on search generative experience if you rank over here but also on youtube if you're creating thumbnails in general is you need to create like an emotional reaction right so how do you do that well i like the eyes to be looking at the actual user so you can see the robot's eyes right here are staring directly at us and it should be very colorful the more colorful it is the more it's going to stand out versus everything else and then I don't like to spell out exactly what the image is about, but I like to add subtle hints to create curiosity, right? So for example, for this image, you're like, okay, what does he mean the end of SEO? And this must be related to AI, but I don't really understand how, right? Plus there's some website charts, etc. So the image hints to what the content is about, but it doesn't explain everything, which means that people have to click and find out more, which means that your click-through rate is going to be higher on Google or YouTube or whatever you use. And then if you're going to add text to the content, you would just fit it around the image, right? So for example, like this one, I can just change the background color to yellow so it stands out, change the font color to black so that it contrasts with the yellow background. I'm gonna use minimal text, just like three words, it's totally fine. And then you can see we've got the text, we've got the image, it's all looking crazy, etc. And there we're good to go. Now, when it comes to YouTube, the way that I like to do it is just mix it up every time, right? So for example, if I've got all these AI generated images, well then I might actually want to mix up the format because otherwise people are just gonna think it's the same YouTube thumbnail every single time. Same with your website content, right? You don't want it to all look the same. So what I can actually do is I can use one of the templates that I've created on Canva, as you can see right here. And then I can actually insert an image that I've generated with chat GPT like this one right here I can copy the image plug it into Canva and then if I go to edit photo and background remover then I've created an image that I can just overlay on an existing background that I have and so eventually once you've gone back and forth with chat GPT a few times you're gonna create something like this right where it's, it's very messy like don't get me wrong this is very messy but this is just based on what's working for me so for example if you look at some of our top performing videos like this one this one this one and this one and this one, they all follow the same format, which you can see right here in terms of the chat GPT style thumbnail. Otherwise, you can use the methods that I'm showing you right here, but that's basically it. And so in this SOP, I've included the prompt that we've talked about, the templates for Canva, which are these ones right here, which is pretty crazy. There's a hundred different thumbnail templates in this list right here. If you're on the prompt for generating the background transparent images, I'm going to include it inside the SOP as well. And then for whatever purpose you're using it for, obviously you want the dimensions of the image you've generated to fit with whatever content you're creating, right? So for example, if I'm creating a YouTube thumbnail, I'm going to use the dimensions from this. And it's quite easy to change that inside Canva. I can't remember exactly how to do it right now, but you can see the thumbnail dimensions displayed right there. If you ever want ChatGPT to create different dimensions for you, you can just ask it, like for example, make it portrait, right? Make the image vertical, not horizontal. So it's not landscape, but it's vertical dimensions. And then it will go off and do that. But you just brief it in terms of the dimensions you want. So you can see right here, it's changed the dimensions of the image that we generated. It's going to come back differently every time, as you can see. But that's basically how we can generate images in different dimensions just by briefing ChatGPT. Very easy. Now, some people don't use ChatGPT4. So let me show you some alternatives as well. One of my favorites is actually Poe.com. So for example, if we go to explore over here, you can use DALI 3. It has limited access, but you can also use stable diffusion. And then you can follow the same prompts that I've used previously, right? This one and this one right here. Additionally, 
you can go onto bing.com forward slash create and ask it to generate images for you. So for example, if we take this prompt right here and the good thing about bing.com is that actually when you create images directly for free inside here, you don't need a subscription or anything like that. The image that comes back is actually pretty decent, right? It's not bad quality at all. And you can use the same process to make the background transparent inside Canva or whatever tool you use. Now, another option as well is that, for example, if you look at this website, Focal Thunderland, where all the images have been generated with AI and the content as well. So for example, let's check out this website right here. You can see that these images have been generated directly with AI, right? And to do that, along with the content itself and all the formatting. So there was actually no editing on this content at all. And to do that, all you do is you go on to also blog in AI. This is the tool that's got me the best results of SEO so far when it comes to AI. And then if you go to godlike mode, I think they've just updated it right now as well. So you can see it looks pretty awesome. But yeah, you can basically generate SEO optimized content based on real time data with the SERPs. You put in your title, location, language, and you can generate AI images using this option right here. You can actually put in a load of keyword and entities on there. And you can also add in your competitors URLs right here and basically just scrape them using that process. And then when you generate the content, it's going to look something like this, right? So as promised, that is basically how I generate free images with AI using ChatGPT. And you can generate thousands of images for any type of content. For example, this website right here, it has thousands of images with hundreds of pages and all the content was automatically generated using autoblogging AI. And you can see that it's gone from like zero clicks a day to getting hundreds of clicks, as you can see with SEO. And whether you're doing this for SEO or for YouTube, like I've said, higher click-through rates equals better engagement, more interaction and better rankings. In terms of how to do it, well, you just come up with a concept, then you create the image, then you iterate and go back and forth with ChatGPT, and then you'd add the final finishing touches inside Canva. And if you want this free template for doing that, I've got it right here shared it with you. If you want other options for generating images, well, you've got Poe, Bing, and Autoblogging AI. And if you want the prompts, they're right down here inside this SAP, along with the link to the templates and the free ChatGPT SEO tool, which you can see right here. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the free templates, tools, SAPs, etc., that I've talked about today, I'm going to include that inside my free course, inside the AI SEO automation section. It's going to be called Thumbnail SAP Create Free AI Images, as you can see, and the SAP will be inside the description right there. There you go. So the link to the free course is inside the comments in the description if you want to get access to that. And if you do want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website using SEO and get your SEO domination plan, we'll answer any questions that you have, you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website, and you'll discover how to quickly outrank your competitors with link building using this process. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.